Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Life of a Singer with Michela Jegwe. I'm currently on the University of Ghana campus where my guest for today's studies to obtain a music degree. At the age of 12, my guest was on the X Factor Music Contest. Although very young and unable to join the competition, the judges had this to say. I don't know what we're going to do about the age limit. You have such a God-given gift, something so precious. What do you say? Um, wow. I'm short. I mean, like, she said it all. My heart, my heart's still beating. You know, boom, 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 like that. Um, all I like, I want to say, is thank God for people like you. But can I tell you something? Don't be discouraged by that, because by the time you come of age to take part in a contest like this, there will be no contest. So you heard from the judges there would have been no contest, no competition. I'm here to find out if my guest went back on that show and so many others. Please stay with us. So today, my guest is the very talented Emmanuel Mensah. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> so first thing I want to find out, I'm sure everybody's wondering why you went on the show if you were that young. Why did you go on the show and did you have no knowledge of this age limit thing that they spoke about? Um, yes, I um, actually um, knew about the age limit. They had an interview in Kumasi initially okay. and uh, the, the qualifiers were to audition in Accra. Okay. So they knew I was young, but they just wanted to give me that exposure to meet the judges and to show them what I had because they were actually impressed with my Aww. audition in Kumasi. So that's how I was able to go on the main stage in Accra. Yeah. yeah, so that's what happened. Everybody was impressed, I must say. That that uh, video went viral and yes. so many people were talking about it. Yeah. So now, did you ever go back when you came of age? Did you ever go back on the show? Um, they've actually not had any as factor Maybe I have not heard of it, but they've not okay. had any as factor um, auditions in... Um, in Africa anymore after the 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 that one in 2012. Okay. But the, there's been other competitions I've tried. Uh, you have? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Just recent, the Talent Hunt. I'm sure they are still showing it on your television. The Talent Hunt. Talent Hunt. Yeah, that was very. It was actually this year. It was during the quarantine. Okay. So it wasn't. Um, we did it with our phones. You okay. just sent your video, and okay. I was able to get to the finals. Woo! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. There was no competition, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there was no contest, I guess. Oh, but I did not win. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yes. Don't mind those people. That, yes. That's a big bummer. Yes, Don't yes. Mind but it was, it was a fun experience for me. me I, I always like to learn new things. So mm -hmm. getting on that platform, meeting. I met Reggie Rockstone again. Oh, and yes. did he recognize you? Yes, him? he did. First, oh. first performance. He's like, this boy. <laughs> <laughs> It was nice. Oh, that must it was have been nice. nice. Yes, exactly. and I met Richie Mensah as well. Okay. And Achiame Kwame. They were all oh, awesome nice. judges. I learned so much with on that competition as well. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, oh, lovely. Fun. So aside singing and taking part in these talent competitions, mm -hmm. you're here studying for a music degree. Yeah. What do you hope to achieve with that degree? What do you want to do with your music? So I want to come up as my own artist, produce okay. my own songs. Okay and makes a master than myself okay sometimes right. you need other people too but i love to um really explore my my work a yeah. lot so i would like to also teach others what i know as well all right yeah all right so you compose music yes please that's what i do. what genre are you into what do you do i'm actually into whatever i feel at the moment you're like a freelance yeah. writer yeah, composer free. exactly i can do a chorus song i can 
do a contemporary song mm -hmm. i can do a jazz composition if i feel like oh, it. Nice. <laughs> depending on how the music comes to me yeah yeah but i'm a big oddly people might be surprised i'm a big fan of hip-hop <laughs> Hey, yes, <laughs> you don't I'm come a, off as such. Yes, I think, yes, <laughs> but I'm a big, I'm a big fan of hip hop in a in a sense because of the the how hip hop actually started in a and the the emotions attached to some of the late com like the people who used to yes that mm -hmm. how they actually did their music. I I am a big fan. I I admire their work. Oh wow! Yes. So I also take elements from that to with my African indigenous music and use them to produce my own songs oh so, nice yeah. nice so you have a couple of songs already yes i do have a lot of songs but none of them is out yet why, <laughs> why? <laughs> out yet. I'm... why, why are you starving us oh why? <laughs> They'll be coming out very soon but i don't want to give out any dates or anything yet <laughs> okay. yes and i when i start releasing it will be coming so much you like you guys were like it's okay stop it's not okay yeah, okay so. <laughs> well we're so, waiting for that yes yes, yes, yes i'm yes. personally anticipating it yes 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 so your music doesn't take any particular form for now you sing whatever comes to your heart is that it exactly, exactly. so if we were if you were asked to sing something right now what do you what do you think you can pull out of your heart your heart literally <laughs> or your heart, oh, my heart. Oh, yes, <laughs> which yes. do you think you can pull out okay okay i have a song and i hear you are yeah. an instrumentalist as well so you have yeah. a guitar, I, have right a guitar. Here. I brought a guitar for you okay i want to sing one song for you <laughs> oh nice so okay, make me please do an original action okay so make yeah. me yes for <laughs> sure <laughs> It's like I'm buried in the snow Deep inside I'm very cold The little boy is coming home Bullies in the way I know I'm so cold Give me something smooth I'm so cold Give me something smooth See, I try to run as fast as my legs could carry me But the more my shed gets sold Steps and splashes back at me I'm feeling cold Oh, you know it's not so strange I've been here before in many ways you never know I'm in the rain so cold oh, 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 oh I'm so cold Give me something smooth I'm so cold Give me something smooth Oh Blessing me with that. What's the title of this piece? Um, it's called Rain. Rain. Yes. But Rain is a finished work already. Why don't we have it yet? Oh, we'll be coming. Actually, this song is going to take a long time before it's going to be out. So Why? It's, yeah. I'm actually building a whole, how do I put it? A whole superhero movie. <laughs> out of your music? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, um, I think I have to. I'm a big superhero movie fan. Okay, um, Marvel and all Marvel, of that. Yes, I'm a big yeah. fan. And you know how they always um, connect every single movie with that one to another. The other, uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. you can find like 
um cues from other movies that they've not actually released from old yes. movies yes. that are actually connected with new movies to be released and yes we I think can it's relate. Like, yeah it's really amazing and i like to do that with my music as well oh, lovely. so it's a it's a build up of stories okay. every song is actually connected with one another okay so after rain then we get yeah. snow <laughs> <laughs> Then we get sun sounds. <laughs> like <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, okay. but I don't have any song calls so yet. Yeah. There's no snow in Ghana, okay, so. Yes. <laughs> we get the picture. We get yeah, the picture. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And you're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank so, you okay, so much. stay tuned for more after the break. Okay. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm here once again with Emmanuel Mensa, and he was serenading me right before the break. So if you just joined us, you mm. missed a lot. But anyways, Emmanuel, when did you learn how to play the guitar? I knew you as a singer, not an instrumentalist. When did you learn to play the guitar? Um, that was 2018. 2018? 2018, yeah. So that's like two years. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That's that's very impressive. I learned it in this school, University of Ghana. Right. Yeah. Right. From the best. I can imagine. You want to give yeah. him shout out? Oh yeah, it's Blackheart. Um, uh, he was my T. He taught me so much. So oh, wherever you are, oh. I actually did a cover of one of his songs, and it's on my YouTube page. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. have a YouTube page. Yes. Yes, that we can go and see some of your performances my, and yeah. all of that. What's the name of your YouTube page? Monumenta Official. Monumenta yeah. Official. Please follow Monumenta Official on YouTube. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay. So, uh, do you play any other instruments by chance? Yes, I won't say I'm not. I won't say I'm yet there. Okay. Um, uh, I play a bit of xylophone. Okay. A little and keyboard. Okay. Yeah, but right now I'm focused on the guitar. On the guitar. Yeah, and I play attentive bang. That one they'll say nice. I really play. Yeah. Wow, you are multi talented then. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes, you. that's that's wonderful. Wow, I can't wait to hear you playing any other instrument and singing. Yeah. I know it takes a lot of, you know, mind work to be able to play and sing. Yeah. You know, so you must be very, very focused and, and very determined too, you know. Yes. Yeah, this... so so that's very good. That's very good. Now, quickly, before you go, I know I would love to hear your voice again, <laughs> you know. But before you go, I want you to tell us what you do to keep your voice so agile and fresh. Because unlike some singers that I personally know, you have aged. And with age, your voice has gotten better instead yeah. of raspy and, yeah. you know, coarse. Especially because you are a man or yeah. a boy. Forgive me for saying boy, but you know, as we, wow. we grow and <laughs> okay, no, you are a man, young man, you're a young man, <laughs> exactly. And you must have gone through adolescence and that whole break in voice. Did mm. anything of of the sort happen to you? And what did you do to to ensure that your voice is still consistent, still agile, still fresh? What are some of the things that you did? And hmm. did that happen to you? This thing. Eh? <laughs> It was it was really it was really um hard on me actually when it happened. It did. Yeah. I don't know, there are some people that this doesn't happen to but they don't get that British yeah, voice but, thing. Yes, but I, I got to and I think that was like twenty um fifteen. Okay. Twenty fifteen, um when I was in, when I entered SHS fresh. Yeah, so my voice like it just went off. I couldn't hit certain keys and I could sing so low. And when I get to a certain point, my my voice just breaks, and I couldn't control the notes. That's it was the so thing they yeah, talk it was about. so bad. So oh, what did you do? It was so bad. So and I had to actually a lot, of, a lot of comments actually came out that actually got me hyped to study more. Like people were just really annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, it's like. <laughs> Oh, the old boys, no, to chat. Oh, I don't know. There was for so international uh, audience. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, like they they were just trying to say that you are playing with your voice, you are not taking your talent seriously, oh. and you are just messing up. But it's just nature working. I know. They, so they, were, they were so hard on me because they loved my singing. So yes. I understand. I yes. didn't feel bad at all. Oh. <laughs> so then, what did you do to make sure that you know your voice is fine? Yeah. So it was just um, vocal warm ups, and I learned so much songs and studied from a lot of other vocalists. Mm -hmm. uh, which I felt they had, I had a little bit of their voice texture as okay. I was, I was, um, I was growing. growing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, um, Labyrinth, 
Okay. La Prince and Louis Armstrong. Okay. These are people I learned from. And Louis Armstrong has a very beautiful baritone. Brilliant. Yeah. So I learned a lot of techniques from them, how they control their notes. Yes. And from that, I started, I fell in love with skills. Okay. Yeah. And that's how I actually perfected my riff and runs. Okay. Yeah. So that's how it, I just kept on learning and developing my voice, doing vocal warm ups, not eating so much oily foods really? yeah because yeah, i know that also it is like how do i even put it the the the, the wax of what was it called i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> i think that the, that thing that accumulates in your voice and makes your is it phlegm? Phlegm? yes 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 yeah so, so that, that thing is true it's huh? very true you get all sorts of things around you should not take oh no you should take banana you yes. should not take pepper mm -hmm. or spicy foods you should spice, not take cold food. water do you subscribe to all those things you know N not all of them not i, I of like them. my spicy food <laughs> I like and it. it doesn't disturb you so not not before a gig if okay. i have a performance like in three minutes i don't eat something spicy right, yeah because right. you can't perform for certain amount of hours if you eat that's for me yeah if if i eat pepper rice before a gig i'll, okay. I'll start feeling pain when i sing yeah to amount of level I can imagine of time yeah yeah but so many people say all sorts of things and they make yeah. it as though that is the rule for every singer i think every singer has his own unique voice but there are certain things that also work for a Everyone. number of people so you say yeah. like okay this is good like cold water for example I want to advise, if you're a vocalist, I want to advise you, it becomes a habit of drinking soft drinks and cold drinks all the time. Yeah, so that's that's also one thing. I think it works for everyone to yeah. keep your voice really fresh and natural all the time. Yeah. Just drink no, your normal warm water. But some yeah. of these white singers mm -hmm. or singers from the diaspora or outside mm -hmm. the country, they come to Ghana and before a performance, you see them drinking chilled water because they say the sun is too hot and their voices are dry, exactly. their throats is dry. So I think that mm -hmm. it has to do with every individual exactly. and what works for you, exactly. everybody. And, you, and should you, learn, you should learn about yeah. your voice, you know exactly. yourself. Yeah. Exactly. There are exactly. people with allergies. Yes. You get it. Uh -huh. yes. So I don't have your allergy. You don't have mine. <laughs> yes. So, yes. We all have different systems. True. Yeah. True. So that's very good. And and mm -hmm. you're right. You're very, very right. Now you spoke about gigs. So yeah. you perform at various places. Yes, please. Right. So you are always available to mm -hmm. perform at events. Exactly. Should the, should the, the need come arise. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. So then if someone wanted to contact you for an event, what do they have to do? You can follow me on IG. You can contact me on IG, um, on all the social media platforms. If you reach out to me, my numbers are there. Okay. Actually, so if you reach out, I'm ready. I'm Wonderful ready. <laughs> for a huge amount. <laughs> yes. I can imagine. You're oh, amazing. It's, it's... <laughs> but I get to listen to you free on this show. I'm so oh. happy. Thank you. I'm really, really honored. <laughs> Thank you. And I can't wait for you to do that again before you leave. Sure. Will you favor us with one last piece before you go? Thank you. Sure, I will. Well, all right then. So, thank you guys so much for staying with us. And I must thank Emmanuel as well for coming on the show. It's been amazing. It's been brilliant. He's blessed us with his wonderful talent. And I can't wait to hear him again. I can't wait to see you guys for the next episode. Make sure you subscribe to Emmanuel's YouTube channel. Yeah. And also follow us at Life of a Singer on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram. What else? I think that's about it. <laughs> that's about yeah. it. So before we finally say goodbye, Emmanuel will give us one last song. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all when the sun comes shining through to make those rainbows in my mind when i think of you sometime well i want to spend some time with you just the two of us we can make it if we try just the two of us just the two of us just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I 
Will a fall of no time for tears Wasted waters all that is And it'll make the flowers grow oh, 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 oh. Good things might come to those who wait Not for those who wait too late We gotta go for all we know Just the two of us we can make it if we try Just the two of us Just the two of us Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I You and I Just the two of us Thank you. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. Just the two of us. You and I. We look for love, no time for tears.